All right, so I've been seeing quite a few posts in some of the Facebook soap groups talking about how good this small soap company called Mountain Goat Soap is. So I decided I needed to give them a try and make a review. So I went ahead and got a sample bundle as well as a couple other items to try. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box and give them all the sniff tests and give you my honest first impression. And then I'm going to pick my favorite scent of the bundle to test out in the shower. But before we open this bundle, the owner tossed in something extra for me to try. So I'm going to go over that first. And this is what she threw in. It's a full size bar called Short Fuse. Yeah, people said this smelled like pumpkin pie, and it kind of does, but even more than pumpkin pie, it smells like the crust of a pumpkin pie. It smells like graham cracker. It smells like that cereal golden grams. This is a great scent, but it is not for me because it smells so much like pumpkin pie and it will make me crave pumpkin pie and I'm not supposed to be eating sugar. <laughs> it does actually smell much different than any other company's version of pumpkin that I've smelled so far. So my biggest takeaway from this bar is that it's a high quality soap, even if the bar may not be for me. All right, let's go ahead and get this box opened up. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is that this box is not very fragrancy or perfumery, so that's always a good sign. I mean, there is a scent, there is some fragrance, but it's not loud, it's more subtle. All right, there we go. Let's see, it's packaged nicely. All right, so the first thing we have are the shampoo and conditioner bars, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying these out. I chose to get the unscented bars. And the reason I did that is because I'm so often reviewing bars of soap. And so I don't want to use shampoo or conditioner that has a scent and then clashes with the soap that I'm trying to review. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, another wig. Why didn't you put more of this packing filler in here so that I would have a bigger wig? This doesn't even hardly cover my head. I just look ridiculous now because the wig isn't thicker. And it doesn't even stay on my head. That's it. Review's over. Review is over. This company terrible. It's over. Don't forget to subscribe. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm still going to do the review and, and wear the paper. Jeez, people are so gullible. You take me serious all the time. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. Yes, this, these are nice. This, if I can... These are the soap dishes for the shampoo and conditioner bars. And these look to be really good quality. And yeah, that fits really nice. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good fit. These are just like the size of a puck. Let's see. Yeah, that's high quality too. Yeah. I really like the size of these. They're more compact, so they don't take up as much space in your shower. So I really like that. All right, now these, these are packaged very well. Look at all these. Look at that. I was not expecting these to be labeled like individually like that. That's really good. My hair keeps falling off. Sorry. Everyone's going to be so disappointed that my wig didn't fit. Wow. I really was not expecting for these to look this professional. Most of the times when you get samples, they're not very well put together. And that's fine. 
because you know they're just leftover scraps so I'm not expecting them to be like professionally wrapped or anything but these these look really nice as far as the presentation goes mountain goat soap gets an A plus so we've got 12 bars to give the sniff test to and figure out which one I want to test out in the shower all right so first up Monument Canyon and you can see they even have a description underneath the name of the bar it says Pete Bellini if I pronounced that right whatever Bellini is I'm not sure all right so here we go oh yeah that looks nice and this is a huge sample chunk too look at that oh man it smells like orange like sweet orange smells really good this smells like a base note of orange and a high note of peach but yeah smells good all right on to the second bar dirty dog oak moss and cedar wood this smells like a cologne and this smells like when you walk through the department store and through the cologne section the good thing is it's not too loud or perfumery it smells like a cologne but it's subtle all right so number three lion's tail peach and mandarin all right here we go so what it looks like there yeah this smells like orange it smells a lot like the first one but the citrus smells a little stronger on this one yeah it smells like sweet orange it's really good if you really want to highlight the peach scent you should probably not put it with another citrus scent because the other citrus scent seems to be overpowering the peach scent because I also I don't smell much peach on here I smell orange and it's good it's just that it doesn't really smell like peach but maybe it'll smell different once it's lathered up and used in the shower but out of the package the orange mandarin scent is dominating the peach scent but nonetheless it's a good bar all right number four aqua velva man show it to you up close Yeah, this just smells like a cologne. Similar as cool water. Even though this is based off of Aqua de Gio. If I pronounced it right, I'm not sure. This is okay. I don't really like it that much. It's not bad quality. It's just that it's a little too loud for me personally. I like softer and more subtle scents. So yeah, I don't really like this one too much. But I'm sure a lot of people out there would love this bar. Number five, black leather jacket. I'll show you what it looks like up close. All right. This smells like rainwater to me. Not really crazy about this one. It's not bad. I just don't really like it too much. Number six, hand grenade with bay leaf and oak moss. Show it to you up close and see what it looks like. Yeah, you can tell there are nice ingredients in there. This smells like seaweed to me. <laughs> and like a very, very subtle cologne. I'm not really quite sure how I feel about this one. It's decent. It's okay. I don't dislike it. But I don't know if I like it or not. 
All right, fire in the hole with orange clove and chili. You can definitely smell the orange. It smells good. This this reminds me of the first bar that I smelled the the short fuse, the pumpkin scented. This reminds me of that. This reminds me of an orange version of pumpkin pie. Yeah, this one's okay. It smells like orange pumpkin pie to me. <laughs> Number nine, full metal jacket. And it looks like just a solid green bar. Smells kind of grassy, like a subtle scent of cologne. This one's not bad, but I'm not really crazy about it either. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Honestly, it smells kind of like grass and a subtle cologne with a with an undertone of a water scent or something. It smells fresh. So yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. It's okay. Number 10, Stiff Breeze with peppermint and menthol. This one is huge. This is almost like the size of a regular bar of soap. Look at that, look how big that is. It looks nice. It looks like Fresh Falls. Nice blue shade. Very smooth. Go ahead and give it a sniff test. This smells like vapor rub. Those crystal menthols in there clearing my sinuses. The scent is okay. I'm really not detecting much peppermint. I'm just detecting the menthol crystals and it's clearing my sinuses, which is good but I'm not really crazy about the scent. But this is a good bar of soap. If you were stuffed up, this would definitely help you. So if I'm grading this one, I'll give the scent a C, but for clearing your sinuses up, I'll give it an A. So for the last bar, she actually put it in the wrong label. So I'm not sure what this one is, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and give it the sniff test all the same. All right, this one looks really good. Mm, I don't really like the way this one smells. All right, so that's all of them. Now I have to figure out which one I wanna test in the shower. All right, so I think my two favorites were Dirty Dog and Lion's Tail. So now I just need to figure out which of these two I want to use. So after smelling these a couple more times, I'm starting to think that this Dirty Dog is a little too cologne for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Lion's Tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this in the shower and I'm gonna use the shampoo and conditioner bar as well. So I just read the directions on the back of the conditioner bar and it says you should leave the conditioner lather on your scalp for two to four minutes before rinsing it off. I didn't know that before. So thanks for pointing that out for us on the directions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the shower. Miss me. All right, it's the next day and there's some good news and some bad news. The good news is I love the shampoo and conditioner bars. I shaved my head before I showered and then I used them and they worked really well. And I love the bamboo soap dishes that were custom designed for these shampoo and conditioner bars. So I highly recommend these products. Okay, and so the bad news. Well, not really bad news, but just disappointing news because I really did not care for the scent of this bar much. So it's not that this soap is bad, it's actually very high quality, it's just that it feels like it's more for women than men. It's not like some of these other bars where it's loud and perfumery, 
The scent is subtle, but nonetheless, it just smells more feminine than masculine. And unfortunately, I pretty much feel the same way about the rest of the bars. Not all of them are more feminine than masculine, but they're still a little bit too fragrancy for me, even if it's a more subtle fragrance. But just because these aren't for me doesn't mean there's not a lot of other people out there who will love them, especially women. And I think women will love this Lion Cell bar that I used yesterday. Once it's lathered up, the citrus scent fades and the peach scent comes alive. This actually <laughs> smells a bit like peach soda to me. It's actually a pretty good scent. It's just not a scent that I want to shower with and smell like. And I don't want to discourage people from trying Mountain Goat Soap because like I said, I think there's a lot of people out there who will like this. As you saw from all of those Facebook posts, my criticism is not a question of the quality of these bars. I actually think every one of these bars is high quality. It's just that these scents are not for me personally. Like the Cologne Scents Dirty Dog and Aqua Velva Man smell like department stores. And I don't like that. But I know a lot of guys do. But even though I don't care for most of these scents, like I said, the quality is there. And because the quality is there, I want to help promote this company. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ship these over to Little Mac JTV and let him make a review. And I think he can probably get his wife to try some of these and offer a woman's opinion, which I think will be very positive. So if you're not already subbed to him, you should go do that now so you can catch his review for these soaps. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. And I will also leave a link to the Mountain Goat Soap site so you can look it over and see if there are any bars you'd like to try. If you like subtle scents, Mountain Goat Soap probably wouldn't be for you, but if you like a nice light fragrance, you should definitely give them a try. So that's about it for this review. If you've tried Mountain Goat Soap, let us know what you think about them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.